I was inspired. Um, I was inspired. And I know a lot of conservatives seen this and, um, you know, the left has tried to use this again to, to try to bring up, hey, look, all the racial division and racial, ex this is, you know, this, this is, you, just the left has used it for their own agenda. And, and definitely have, and it, it is definitely could be looked at one of those things that, you know, reminds us of slavery and could just feel like it's just, again, to make white people feel bad. But I would like to look at it in another light, which I would thought was really awesome. For one, I wanted to show you that the movie that you see and the people using the Bible are what we would call today liberals. These are the liberals of that day. You, 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 you know, I know maybe one annoying thing about it was that the, the people were using the Bible to justify the oppression of, um, uh, of the Africans. Um, and, and, but in the same movie, there's other people like Brad Pitt or whoever who definitely knew that the that the Bible was actually against that and so there were those who used their liberties to oppress others so much so today in this day that we have Christians quote-unquote Christians and people um, who use the Bible to try to, ex to to justify and to bless abortion um, and even say God bless Planned Parenthood or either declare that declare all types of things i may even show a clip of a lady i talked to at the abortion clinic the other day was up pulled over you came and yelling at us and everything injustice needs to be exposed and so th what's going inside these First closed all, doors sir, you will never ever yeah be in the position that you have to make this that decision. doesn't make sense my son doesn't no. have the right my son doesn't have the right to be murdered you by his mother will never want. So, be in the position are you a christian? to make this decision. are you a christian you got a cross on you got a cross there are you a christian I am. Okay. And so what does and God you, say about abortion? Ma am, ma am. And when I said that, her demeanor changed a little bit. Why are you a Christian okay with the oppression of the unborn? Um, I'm going to show a clip of Brad Pitt. What amused me just then was your concern for my well-being in this heat. When, quite frankly, the condition of your laborers. The condition of my laborers. It is horrid. The hell? It's all wrong. All wrong, Mr. Epps. They ain't hired help. They're my property. You say that with pride. I say it as fact. This conversation concerns what is factual and what is not. Then it must be said that there is no justice, no righteousness in this slavery. But you do open up an interesting question. What right have you to your niggas when you come down to the point? What right? Mm. I bought them. I paid for them. Well, of course you did, and the law says you have the right to hold a nigger. But begging the law's pardon, it lies. Suppose they pass a law, taking away your liberty, making you a slave. Suppose. That ain't a supposable case. Laws change, Epps. Universal truths are constant. It is a fact, a plain and simple fact, that what is true and right is true and right for all. White and black alike. You compare me to a nigger, Bass? I'm only asking in the eyes of God, what is the difference? Might as well ask what the difference is between a white man and a baboon. <laughs> I've seen one of them critters in Orleans know just as much as any nigga I got. Listen, Epps. These niggas are human beings. If they are allowed to climb no higher than brute animals, you and men like you will have to answer for it. There is an ill, Mr. Epps. A fearful ill resting upon this nation. And there will be a day of reckoning yet. I like I like what he said that first of all what's factual is that that the that Africans are um, the black you know that black people are humans I mean it's pretty simple and it's pretty simple as we talk to people and we go hey you guys the baby in the womb is a human being you could call it a fetus but it's a human being you could call it a nigga but it's a human being and so it's a human being and so that's what's factual. I, I love the fact that he says, in the sight of God, what's the difference? And that's the question I ask people. What do you guys think God feels about abortion? What do you think he feels about the baby the woman? Is that baby human? That's the real question. Uh, I love what he says that, you know, pardon, pardon the law, but the law lies. And we obviously know just because it's okay to kill babies in the womb doesn't make it okay. That the law does lie. And that, and that he said that a day of reckoning is coming to this 
the nation. And I believe that civil war was a was a judgment to the nation regarding the issue of slavery. How much more so what's coming upon this nation? What wars are coming upon this nation? What drama and, and, and death is coming to America for the issue of 56, yeah, even 7 million babies dead in this nation in the last just 40 years? And so I just want to say, and, I, and I, as I was watching this movie, I was like, man, if this movie ends with him just going and being prosperous, um, I am not going to be happy. But it ended with him um, joining the abolitionist movement. And that's what inspired me about this, that the injustice of that day, that he, he I, I would reason to say he wasn't involved with the abolition movement before that. But after that, he was definitely. And we should look at this injustice and think about not just, oh, look at what happened to slavery, but look how we're doing the same thing and, and even worse today. That those guys were enslaved, but yet we murder babies and we give them no chance to live. And so I want to in invite all you guys to join the abolition movement. I want to invite you and, um, and to, re to really open your eyes and really pray, is this the social injustice of our age? And I believe so. There's no other social ill in our nation that's that's legal, that's well accepted, like the issue of abortion. We can no longer put our heads in the sand. It's called for all hands on deck to end abortion, all hands on deck to do this thing. Chris Rush, Mary Whoville. No, no. Well, pictures speak a thousand words. You need to see the sin.